Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be doing a comparison video with Doris vs. Lamia. I'm going to explain to you why I'm doing this video. But I'm going to start, I'm going to start doing this on my channel now. Where I compare two characters in the same synergy. It could be outside the same synergy too. It could be like Naui vs. Nyx, right, for example. I may do stuff like that later on. But for this video, it's going to be a guide explaining to people Naui vs. Um, not Naui, sorry, Lamia vs. Doris, for example. And the reason why I'm doing this is because some guy said to me in guild chat a few days ago that, not guild chat, sorry not guild chat, in global chat some guy said to me that Lamia is better than Doris because Lamia has uh, more usage in clear records showing that she's better. Um, that's definitely not true. Uh, I know that she gets used more but she's definitely not better so I'm going to explain to you why Doris is better than Lamia in this comparison video. So um, let's start with Lamia first because she's the royal so we're going to give her the start of the video. What, is, what do you have over Doris? Well, let's explain. She has 108 speed. 108 speed is insane in this game because the average DPS on this game is 105, 106. The full potential of one character can go to 115 to 116. What do you mean? What do I mean by full potential? The character can get way more stronger by having just a skin. So like Edora, for example. Edora at 106 speed is nowhere matched to 116 speed. 116 speed is insane because it can it be faster than most tanks in the game like like um, Janna, like Athena and it can also be stronger than most DPS in this game like again like like, like um, Nyx, like Naui, like Lamia 116 speed is faster than some of the newer characters too so some of the newer characters can be like 110 speed or no 110 speed right and if you have the skin for like Adora pin at 116 you're basically faster than the brand new characters which is again insane so Lamia could have the potential of being even stronger than future characters. So when the Gen 5 Royals come out, I think around March or April, the Gen 5 characters come out, you're going to be like maybe 118 speed if she doesn't get a skin by then. And the fact that she can be stronger than a Gen 5 character being only a Gen 3 is is nuts because you're going to have multiple copies of Lamia. Lamia is going to be more free to play. And the fact that you can move before a Gen 5 character can probably get you to kill on round 2. And if you can get a kill round two, you've basically won the game, right? So her, her full potential can be stronger in the future compared to Doris, which can't get stronger because her speed is super slow, being at 96 speed. And if they did give her a skin, because she's not a royal, she doesn't get 10 speed, she gets 5. So she's only going to be 101 speed. So is that insane? No. So Lamia is better in that area of being speedy and being stronger and having a more of a stronger part in the future when it comes to skins being a 118 speed with more damage uh what else does she has over over doris she has she can apply a holy shield to her team if you paired up with another demon that's also really good because that can never be bad holy shields are insane in this game they're probably the most broken thing in this game because you can stop any amounts of damage from your whole team or one particular target from dying and that's basically stronger than monarchs at, at a point because monarchs is basically like holy shields um you take damage but you don't die this is exactly the same thing. You take damage, but you don't die. Um, no, actually, no, you don't take no damage, but you don't die. And Monarchs, you take damage, but you don't die. So it's basically stronger than Monarchs, but you, you get what, what I'm trying to say, right? Lamia can apply Holy Shields with paired up with another demon, and Lamia and Doris can't. And Holy Shields are insane to have in PvP and PvE. So that's one thing she can do over Doris. Um, another thing that she can do over Doris is have a continuous ult. She can ult multiple times, unlike Doris, she can only ult once. If you can ult multiple times, it gives you the potential to be stronger in PvE. That's the reason why a lot of clear records have Lamia, because Lamia is stronger in Abyss Crusade, she's strong in NE, and she's strong in Celestial Trials, because she can ult multiple times, killing the boss within less turns or less rounds, right, before taking damage and dying. And if you have her uh, rune skills, um, the gold ones, they, they're quite cheap. You can get them for 800 or you can get lucky. Um, these are quite cheap and you can easily get them and when you do get Lamia's one it increases your damage per turn every time you ult and you can only ult up to 10 times so um, how much would you ult per round in PvP? Maybe 5 because only five, 5 enemies on the other team but in PvE you may get lucky and ult multiple times because they do proc multiple hits per turn if, you, if that makes sense in any some bosses or some uh, minions attack like once or twice or whatever right so you can maybe proc 10 times the PvE, but in PvP you may proc it like uh, 3 times, 5 times. But again, the fact that you can proc the ult multiple times will give you a high potential in killing a single target that needs to be gone ASAP. So yeah, that's really good. However, the damage is not the same. So it says 300 damage, 
but the ultimate is only going to give you like half that damage so it's not insane damage so in order for you to kill someone with this counter attack situation you need to have like a lot of lamias so you can have um a stronger base stat strong stats overall so you can do a lot of damage you need to have the red talents for more damage you need to have every any way you can get damage you need to have it so lamia can be super strong when counter attacking um what else is what does lamia have over over doris oh yeah she has a link skill um doris doesn't have a link skill yet uh no root no relics on this game can make doris stronger if that makes sense she has no like link skill unlike lamia she has the shield for doom so not only that it's a doom shield but it's also a skill for lamia and her team her link skill is a sanctuary or blessing whatever you want to call it um when it when she does ult or whatever when, when serfina or lamia ults they apply sanctuary to her team sanctuary is basically when when the enemy takes when the enemy does damage to your team you would ignore the damage and take nothing and this can only work 20% of the time because Lamia applies 20% to her whole team when she ults. However, she can get 50% chance because it applies to her again. So she has the she has the team one and she has the, the passive one, making her have 50% chance of Sentry. Again, Sentry makes your ultimate proc again and you take no damage. So that's one thing that she has over Doris is that she can give people a passive and she can make herself proc multiple times and increase the chance. But that's it. Um, that's the only thing Lamy can do over 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 Doris, and Protector that is terrible. It can only work with a certain certain units, and in Doom you're only going to use it with Mad a Madeline. You may use it with like Karnak, but really realistically it's going to be with Madeline. And in the future you may use it with other characters. However, um, Doom got Na now not now sorry Doom got Lamia and Madeline in a row, so I doubt the Gen Five Royals is going to be a Protector. I don't see it being a Protector. So yeah, um, yeah, that's it. Only four things, roughly, she has over Lamia, over, over Doris. Sorry, um, but when I when I mentioned the Doris ones, you may think she may have three, three things over Doris because the speed is great. But I'm gonna explain to you why Doris's speed is quite good too. Even being at 96, it is really strong. So let's talk about. Oh yeah, and her red runes. So oops, not you. Her red runes are terrible. And again, if you're gonna go all out on Lamia, these red skills are not going to help compared to Doris. Okay, let's talk about Doris. Okay, well, Doris is easy to get. She, Of course, she's easy to get. You can get her from the guild shop with the guild, uh, the guild point contribution points. You can buy more Doris compared to Lamia. Lamia is monthly. Doris is monthly, but she's cheaper. So it's easier for you to get Doris over Lamia. So that's one she has over Lamia. Um, she's Striker. Striker is better than Protector because Striker... You can use it with more people. You can use it with Atropos and you can use it with Seraphina. These are two strong uh, characters in Doom if you want to be more flexible. Seraphina is insane in Doom. I've used it. Multiple people used it. We all know her strong. Atropos is basically the most universal character in the game. Regardless of what team she's on, she'll make a team better. And Do um, Doom struggles with damage. So again, if you want more damage and sustain, you can use either Seraphina or you can use Lam uh, Atropos. Atropos would be better. But again... Most people use Atropos and other teams because everyone needs Atropos. So yeah, Striker is Protector. Again, Doris has Striker, so I give her that over Lamia. Um, she has Awakened skills. I know Thing has uh, Holy Shields of being Doom. She has uh, Light Seeker. Light Seeker is really strong because you can increase your base stats of your abilities. So basic attack goes from... 50 to 109 her ultimate goes from 375 to 761 and her second ability goes from 135 to 295 these stats are incredible if you want to do more damage on one target because there's no actual way to increase your stats in this game other than getting multiple copies but with um non non royals you have awaken i know awaken is not easy to get but you can get it free to play it will take some time you can get it but that's another way of increasing your character to be even stronger. Most characters can't do that. Like, I think no royal in the game can't do that. Like, increase their stats apart from uh, talent and, and ruins. There's no way you can actually make them stronger. But with Doris being a non-royal, there's multiple ways you can make her stronger than just the usual talents and runes. So that's one thing she has over Doris or an, over Lamia. Another thing she has over Lamia is more a contribution to Doom. I know that Lamia can proc the ult 
and uh, apply nothing but her second ability applies reflect with um with doris she can apply reflect on her ultimate she can apply reflect on her second ability and she also applies anti-heal on the enemy team if you don't know what anti-heal is it basically stops the enemy team from healing and it go all the heals you apply on your team will go to doris so if you have a karnak in your team and doris has moved and applied the anti-heal anyone that procs karnak's passive will go straight to doris and not your team so if you do have a tanky doris and you do pair up with people like Terafina giving blessing to make you take no damage on Doris. She can be in a really annoying unit and she can wear down the enemy team by not being able to heal. But it's not it's not guaranteed this will happen. It's, it's a small chance, but you may get lucky and have the chance twice in a row. And if you do get it twice in a row, it is insane because you can see the big difference with getting it once or twice. You can see it. So her contribution to Doom is way higher than Lamia because Lamia can only increase reflect by the second ability. But with Doris, you can play with the ult, you can play with the second ability. And I know that Do um, Lamia can only apply Sanctuary with the Link skill. But with Doris, you don't even need that. You can just put Doris in the team and she will do what she needs to be done. So yeah, it is more easy to apply contribution to your team with Doris compared to Lamia. So that's one thing. Um, PvP wise, they're both strong. But I think Lamia, I think Lamia is a bit weaker because Doris can attack multiple people in the enemy team. And in PvP defense and, and attack, if you put someone tanky in front of Lamia, you can kind of block her potential of actually doing what she needs to be done. She can be blocked by someone super tanky, right? If you put someone like Talonis, I'm not saying you're going to put, not Talonis, sorry. Or you could put Talonis if you have the runes. If you put someone like Talonis or Talos in the enemy, in enemy team or your team, and you see a Lamia in the enemy team, you can basically stop Lamia from doing her stuff because she can only attack people in front of her. People do that with Nyx. If you see a Nyx in the enemy team, you basically put some, someone useless in front of her or someone tanky in front of her and then they'll be going at it for a, a bit and then you basically, you, they do nothing, right? Lamia is exactly the same. If you have Lamia on defense, you put someone tanky in front of her and she's basically out the game for a bit. With, with Doris, you can't do that. Doris can attack anyone on the enemy team regardless if you're a backline or a frontline. That's, that's great. If you can attack the backline and the frontline, that's something we all want. Unlike some characters, they're going to attack the front line. Some characters are going to attack the back line. Doris can do both. So that's one thing she has over Doris. Or over Lamia, sorry. And her rune skills are way better than, than um, Lamia. Lamia does do a lot of damage on single target. But Doris can do a lot of damage on every single target. In PvP. Uh, this does not work on bosses. It only works on um, anyone not bosses. But this is really strong. I'm going to explain to you what it does. If you do, if you do get the red one... The red one increases Doomsday's damage by 100% with their reflect damage. So if you don't know what reflect damage is, if you have three Doom Relics or two Doom Relics, your reflect damage increases. If you have if you have Doris there, she increases it by 100%, which is insane. 100% is, is a crazy scaling on top of what they already have. And on top of that, every time the enemy moves, they take more damage from just moving, right? So if you ever played against a Doom, Doom team before, Every time you move, you take damage. But with Doris, she does an, an, another chance of that. She does a, another proc. So you can move and take two times the damage. And that damage is insane because it can half health particular targets in your team, which I've seen it before. I've played against other Doom teams and I've taken my, my Seraphina has taken half, got half health by a Doris. And that can apply to anyone in your team. So it doesn't matter who it is. It can always happen. Does it get rid of Holy Shield? Yes, it does. You can get rid of Holy Shield with the with the prop thing because it's damage, but it doesn't apply to Doris' damage at the end of the game. But we do know it's from Doris. Um, when Lam when Lamia dies, her rune skills turn off; they deactivate. With with Doris, if Doris dies, her rune skills are still applied to the team. Again, that's way better than Lamia because when someone dies, they still contribute to the team. Like I said before, Doris contributes way more than Lamia. When you when Doris dies, her rune skill is still active. I don't know if that's a bug, but I doubt it's a bug because this is a team contribution. But who knows? Maybe it is a bug. But currently, it is better than Lamia's one. Um, yeah, Doris's rune skills are cheaper because she's not a, not a royal. Lamia's one it costs like eight hundred if you want the red. Unlike Doris, it costs eight uh, four hundred. So again, you're getting a better you're getting a better rune skill for cheaper. So, again, it is better, right? 
what else is good about Doris compared to Lamia? Oh yeah, like I was saying about the, the speed, the speed thing. Yeah, Lamia is 108 and her potential to be 118 is by one skin. With Doris, she can only be 109. Oh, well, not 109, sorry, 101 because she gets 5 speed from her skin. But the reason why you don't need speed on Doris, like I said before, if the enemy team moves, they take damage. And let's say, let's say for example, there's an enemy, like, what enemy can we put? Actually, plus for example, no, let's say any support, right? Or no, let's put Serafina. I'm, I'm going to go on Serafina for a better example. Serafina is 126 speed, right? Lamia or Doris can't move or damage Serafina before she ults. Let's say her ult is crucial. If Serafina gets this ult off, the enemy the enemy team is going to win, right? Let's just say that's the example um, or situation. Lamia would make you lose the game if Serafina moves and heals the team. But with Doris, she doesn't matter if she's 96 speed. It doesn't matter if she's 101 speed. If the enemy moves, they will take damage before ulting. So there could be crucial times where you may need to kill a Dora or you may need to kill a Serafina before they move. But again, Doris can attack them before they move and apply the ult. So again, it, she's slow, but she can still attack. Unlike Doris, she can't, not Doris, so unlike Lamia, she can't attack unless she's been attacked. That makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. It's kind of hard to explain. Let me let me put it into a, a PvP area of them that does that, that, help you okay let's let's move this okay let's use him for example okay well, this is what i meant right okay let's say my lamia is one one oh one oh eight one eighteen speed okay, let me, she will move before everyone in this team right she will attack anyone in this team they're dead let's say it's a 1v1 and she's fighting makaria for example she will kill Makaria because she's faster and she'll get her turn off before Makaria. But let's say Makaria was 120 speed, right? And Lamia is 108 speed or 118 speed. Makaria would then kill Lamia, right? Because she goes before Lamia. But let's say Doris, for example. Doris is a 95, 96 speed. It doesn't matter if Doris is 96 or 101. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if Makaria is 1 billion speed. It doesn't matter if Makaria is... 108 speed whatever it doesn't matter what speed she is doris would always kill makaria before makaria can kill doris because doris's um rune skill would apply before lamia or uh, before the enemy team moving because every time the enemy team moves they take damage but with doris's uh, rune skill it increases the damage they take when they move so it would be double so every time the enemy moves they would take damage so again doris doesn't really care about speed because she works with the enemy speed. The more faster you are, is the more the more dangerous you're going to be to your own team. Did that make sense? Surely that made sense, right? So yeah, Lamia, you need to be faster. So you may have to buy the skin to be attacking enemy team. They might buy they might buy a skin to attack you with Doris. Do you really need a skin? It may look nice. You might want to buy the skin for what it looks like, but you don't need a skin because Doris would always always be faster than the enemy team because they, she applies damage to her rune skill, making you do damage off the enemy's speed, not your speed. Get it? Right. Okay. I think you get it. So yeah, that's one thing that she has over over Lamia, and it does work against um in it does work in PVE, but it doesn't work against bosses. So um, yeah, that's it. That's awful. What I've got to say about those two. Um, I think it's, it's quite obvious that Doris is stronger because she does help Doom way more than Lamia. Lamia is not bad, don't get twisted, Lamia is not terrible, she's not useless, but Doris is better. I think Doris is the, is the Doom now, if that makes sense. And you're probably wondering, well, how much damage does that do? Well, let me show you how much damage it does, for example. Let me just show you. Some, someone attacked me in my guild that has these runes, the red runes, and I want to show you what it looks like. Did he use Doom against me or Mr. Fires? I have no idea. This is me. Okay, well, he's using Val, right? He's in Val and I'm using Doom. I want to show you what it looks like. I'm, I'm, I'm probably dead because he's using Val. Yeah, Val just kills me. But I'm going to show you what it looks like. So he's the enemy. He's attacking me. I'm defense. He's attack. So he moves before me, right? But every time he moves, he takes damage, if you can see it. 
So let's slow it down. Every time he, oh, they got Holy Shield, so it, like, it gets it removes the Holy Shield because they, they take damage from Doris. Every time they move, they take damage. Now she applies anti heal, so they can't heal. So I'm going to slow it down because this is the anti heal part. Atropos needs healing, right? She didn't heal. See, Doris took all the healing, right, from that team, so they didn't even heal. And now they're moving. They're taking damage. Every time they move, they take damage. So Victoria is going to move and take shield damage. See that? She just took damage. I'm going to show you again. It should be Makara moving. Makara is going to take damage when she moves. Okay, let's just speed this up. We don't care about animations. We really don't. Okay, she's going to move. She took damage when she moved. Did you see that? And now that, now that Doris is dead, it's still going to work. She just took mad damage from the Doris rune skill. I know that she can always take damage, but she takes more damage. So it doesn't matter if Doris is dead or alive, the rune skill still applies. And as you saw, the anti-heal part, I applied anti-heal to his team. So Serafina, did she do anything? No, she didn't. She may have procked the ult and the ult animation went off, but she did nothing that, that turn because you stole the, you stole the healing from her. This can work against Karnak. It can work against Persephone. It can work against anyone that actually heals. That's why Doris is quite insane in that area. And every time the enemy moved, as you saw, it got rid of their Holy Shields. Holy Shields is quite a popular thing in this game because it's actually something that can save your team from dying. But Doris can get rid of Holy Shields without, without moving. So if you're on the defense side, the enemy moves before you. If you both have a similar speed or the exact same speed, let's say it's a team that have um, 1 of 5, 1 of 5 speed DPSs. If they move before you because they're attacking, but... You have Holy Shield, they have Holy Shield, but their Holy Shield gets taken off by Doris, but your one doesn't. That makes sense. So, um, yeah, Doris is quite insane if you want to use Doom. So if you are going to use Doom, please invest in Doris before anyone else. And then if you, the next person you want to invest in is Arishta. I'll make a video on her one day, comparing her to other Doom characters or someone else. But if you want my, my advice... For someone that uses Doom, I may not be the person putting like a billion dollars into this game, but I know what I'm talking about. Doris is definitely the strongest character in, in Doom for the meantime. I don't know what comes out in maybe March or April, I have no idea. But if you were looking to build a Doom team, get Doris up to what like I have, maybe 12 star. Get Doris to 12 star, get her awaken, get her red runes, and you'll be you'll be super strong in this game for, for a Doom team. The next person you want to level up is uh, Arishtar. Like I said, level up a bit. But you, oh, oops. But then you need to get the uh, scales. Let me end the video quick. You want to get the scales. The reason why you want to get the scales is because it comes with a link skill and it has HP. But that's just for another video. I'm going to explain about that for another video if you want to know about that. But yeah, please get Doris up. Doris is better than, than Lamia. But Lamia is not bad. Don't get twisted. Lamia is still strong. She'll still knock you out. She'll still carry you in the game. But Doris is just better. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll think about doing the next video in like two days or next week. But yeah, thanks for watching.